So I'm here today with uh, three of our guys from San Diego. We have uh, uh, Sal from San Marcos, Jose from Chula Vista, Drew from Kearney Mesa, uh, part of our uh, wonderful San Diego team. And I thought it'd be great to hear you know, some of their stories uh, about how they've been handling the crisis. And, and for us, um, it's particularly important to understand sort of the, you know, the human side. So I always like to start by understanding, um, I mean, this has been a pretty uh, crazy time. There's been a lot of things that were, were really scary. And uh, I just wanted to hear what, what, what some of the, uh, the reactions were, especially at first, and some of the, the fears that uh, maybe you know, happened in, in your stores that your guys were expressing, customers were expressing. What, what did you hear? What, what, what did you go through? Um, here in San Marcos, um, like the first, the first thought that came to mind was, uh, you know, some people were going to lose their jobs, and, and that was on the back of their mind. You know, afraid of catching the virus, um, running out of PPE uh, equipment, you know, um, it, 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 and then it, that was at the beginning, and um, you know, kind of after a week or, or a week or so, it kind of settled in, and we kind of put that behind us and started focusing more on our on our new protocols and procedures that that uh, that we were. It was an ever changing uh, process up until this point, um, but uh, I think the biggest fear was losing our jobs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of a lot of it at first was you know, you know the initial the initial thought was disbelief. Like people didn't believe that this was as serious as it is, um, you know. And then you get more and more reports of people dying, people getting sick. It's it's it became a reality, and was pretty scary for a while. But you know we we've, we've all strived through it. Um, you know we're taking the proper precautions. You know we're doing everything we can to keep. Keep the plumbers in the trucks. Mm -hmm. I think in, in our branch it was uh, it was a little weird because we kind of feel a little bit secluded and segregated from everybody. So since we're so far down, we didn't feel the initial hit. Um, we didn't feel it start to get really real, and so we started putting tables out, separating clients, putting out, leaving them outside of the. Branch. That's when like, I guy started feeling the impact of hey, this is real. You know, this is pretty serious. What's going to happen with us? There. You know, it was just throwing thoughts up in the air. And, you know, us as managers, we were trying our best to try to make sure they were staying calm, try to keep them calm and try to do the best we could. But, you know, even us, I can say for myself, I was kind of scared. I didn't know what was going to happen. Just not knowing, you know, or walking into the unknown is pretty scary. I, I, I completely can understand that. And I, I know uh, for me, um, I, I uh, was really, uh, um, obviously afraid for, for my, you know, my family and for our people being, um, being sick from the virus. And I was also really afraid about uh, where we going to be required to shut down and, and would we lose the, the team of people that we've worked so hard to build. I was, I was really uh, frightened about that for a while. Um, but, um, you know, courage is about not, not being afraid. It's about taking action in the face of fear. And I, I think what's been great is how, uh, all of you guys have, have really done that. You, you, you've taken action despite some of these fears. And I, I, I know I've been really proud about how well uh, you three and all of our branch managers and all of our branch employees have responded to um, making it a, a safe experience for customers and, and, uh, uh, and, and uh, just also committing to great service. So I know I'm proud of that. I'll hear about some of the things that, some of the pride points you guys, things where you're proud of uh, your guys or customers just proud moments. Um, for for me, it was uh, or for us here uh, as a whole team in San Marcos. I think it's it's the teamwork, the the team effort um, that everybody everybody pitched in to do the uh, the little things, the extra things that that needed to be done with these uh, um, new protocols that we had to set in place, and uh, having each other's back, um, and and also along with like like the regionals, for example. Um, you know how they they got together and our our initial fear was like we're, we're going to run out of uh hand sanitizer or you know or face shields you know whatever it was and and i i feel very proud to have those kind of people like working together and coming through in this crisis i, I think that's 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 a, a big proud moment for me mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. It's it's a, a lot of it is, you know, like Sal said, was the teamwork that went into this. Um, the, the priority that we're putting 
to keep the, the health and safety of our employees and our customers the top priority. Um, the cleaning regimens we're doing, uh, cleaning the public areas, cleaning you know where the customers are, making sure that there's social distancing in order, just making sure everybody is safe on both ends, in in house and the customers, because you know that's that's what the real importance is is everybody's health and safety in this. Yeah, um, our employees here is just they've been they've actually taken the initiative as soon as they heard the uh, virus was out they kind of took it upon themselves to make sure that everything was clean. Um, not only that, once we started segregating our, the clients appreciate it. So once you know the clients appreciate that you're taking safety protocols to keep them safe, that kind of makes you feel like, okay, we're doing something right here. And I, was, I thought I was, I was pretty proud of that. Yeah, definitely. That was, that was the big thing that we hear. We get a lot of thank yous from the customers for-, for They love it, right? You know, yeah, they're, awesome. they're bringing us, making sure we have safety masks um, you know, they're, they're going out and making their own and bringing us some here. So our, our employees have them to make sure that we, you know, stay open for them and they, they thank us every day. Yeah, I, I think it certainly uh, was really impressive was how much people pitched in, especially on the safety aspect at first. And really overnight, you guys transformed your branch environments uh, into safe places outside, uh, launched all kinds of new procedures, really adapted so fast. It was incredible. And, and and then the other thing that's been amazing has been, uh, it, it does not seem like there's been a lot of drop off in the service level. It seems like you guys have gone to real heroic levels to try and in, almost increase the service level. Can you, can you speak to that at all or? Well, at times like this is, you know, we really, we really understand the importance of, you know, the, the plumbers getting in and out. You know, they, they don't want to be hanging around here any more than they have to because that's obviously more exposure. But, you know, yeah, we've, we've definitely tried to make sure that the, the customers, the, you know, at the end of the day, get in and out as fast as possible because that's you, more you, jobs for them. You kind of also hear the horror stories from our neighbors and whatnot, and you're like, okay, it's, we got to make sure that we shine. We got to make sure that clients understand that we're here for them. We're not here to just work, you know, do our hours and go home. We're here to make sure that people are happy, our clients are happy, everyone is happy, and it feels like this is a hard time to shine. It feels like we definitely stepped up. My guys, for sure, I'm proud of them. Yeah. Yeah, I think everybody pitched in a little. Uh, they 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 put in a little extra effort. Um, the uh, all these new protocols that we added, uh, you know, all the all the extra procedures, and it's unbelievable how we're still. And I think we're even faster than what we were before. I, I want to say that out there. We're faster even with all these uh, new protocols. And customers love that, love the hustle, love to see you, you know, running back and forth, getting their material. Um, you know, occasionally, whenever the chance permits, uh, we take their material to their, their trucks without even them turning off their engine. And they're like, oh, my God, that's so unbelievable. Like, I, can't, I just can't believe it. Like, I, it, you know, I go to the others and I – you know, it takes me about an hour to even uh, place my order. And, and so, so um, I feel that, that the outcome of this, um, I think we're going to be faster than before, you know, uh, and even with all these new challenges that we have. Uh, I wanted to add, it, it's so amazing on, on these uh, EP teams that we, we work so hard on. And we came up with this, you know, we'll call in 30 minutes, it's the Hirsch text and the uh, Hirsch net. So it's, uh, that's that's helping us tremendously right now, especially with the uh, will calls, you know, getting them and out, texting us from the parking lot. And it's, it's, it's you know, amazing. what has been it's huge, you know, what has been huge lately is that new you, uh, text and put your credit card on, on there. And the, yeah. yes, oh, yeah. 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 From the phone. that's awesome right there. It's worked out beautiful for us. Yeah, yep. yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Too. yeah, yeah. that's awesome. awesome. We're getting more and more customers signed up for the dot com and on the, uh, on the app, the mobile app for their phones, it just makes it so much easier. They can place, yeah. their, place their order. If they want to place the order in their truck while they sit there, they can, you know, they have numerous ways to do it. They can text it and, and they do that can, and pay on the phone. That's awesome. Yeah, you can, you can place your order right there on their phone through the app. It, it's, it's really convenient for these guys and they're loving it. That's wonderful. I, I think at a time like this, uh, it's really important to understand that there are uh, some things that are, uh, have to change and, and you guys are making those changes. Uh, has to be more digital, has to be more contactless, has to be faster. Um, uh, and yet there's some things that don't change. Uh, and that is, you know, how, how important service is, how important it is to, to, to work together as a team, how important 
relying on each other is. Uh, so it's, it's, it's holding on to those things uh, that are part of our values uh, that uh, really make us get through a time like this. Um, and of course, one of the things that helps you get through a time like this is um, as, as human beings, we gotta find some type of uh, bright moment or humor or, or, or lightness in this. Have there been any like happy moments, funny experiences you guys have had that you, you'd be able to share? Sounds <laughs> <laughs> here. This is our funny moment. <laughs> <laughs> I, I started this, and then uh, a couple other people followed, and uh, that was the uh, humor here, uh, along with the uh, Carol Baskins or Baskins or whatever her last name is. You know, now that we're watching all these uh, uh, Netflix shows, because there's nothing else to do. So, um, but uh, that's kind of that's kind of like our humor right now with these uh, new haircuts that we're getting. You know, but uh, um, <laughs> yeah. other than that, it's just we we're, we keep the morale here pretty pretty high. Like everybody's just you know, talking, laughing, running around, and, you know, just having each other's backs, but, uh, you know, with that humor behind it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Safety is still number one key, but as long as we can all have fun and get the job done at the end of the day, that's that's the most important thing. So, you know, we, we want to make sure that the customers feel like they're just as much family as the employees are. So that's, in, that's what we try to do here. You know, the, our, our employees, they, they're constantly joking around with the customers, making them laugh, trying to lighten the mood, you know, uh, making it feel like even with all this chaos going on, there's still a little bit of normalcy that you can come to Hirsch and get that little bit, you know. Um, and that's something we really pride ourselves on. I know, I know down here in San Diego, especially, and, you know, all of Hirsch, um, is that one-to-one -one friendship that we have with the customers. So it's, it's very big for us. Yeah, for, for us, for sure, we're, we've always had a high morale in our branch, and it feels like right now we feel even tighter and closer. So it's just jokes going around back and forth, guys, you know, going off on people and just even the clients come in and just we have an employee here that's, um, I don't want to say has a crazy hairline, but it goes pretty far back. And he's letting it grow out right now to see what happens with it. And clients are just going off on him right now. <laughs> <laughs> you see some wacky hair going on right now that nobody can get a haircut. So it's kind of like my hairline is what you're saying? It's a little worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that, is that a mullet, Jose? Are you going to get a mullet? <laughs> I'm working on it. It's, it's, see how it goes down? I'm working on it. Anyway, well, I, I think it's, uh, you guys have done a wonderful job. Uh, like, like, so many of the people at Hirsch, and I'm just really excited by uh, just how many people, like you say, are pitching in and getting involved and making this experience uh, good for each other and for our, our, our customers. And um, as, as I say, I think that there are some things that are gonna change. Um, definitely it's gonna be more digital going forward, uh, but there's some things that aren't gonna change, and, and that's that real human connection we have. And we really have to almost use this technology to, to make our transactions even more human. We're doing more things for people, and we're more connected. So very fortunate and, and uh, uh, blessed how we, we really worked hard on a number of initiatives, including you know the Hirsch Text, the Will Call Initiative, uh, improving our inventories, the, the, improving the app, improving the phone system, uh, and just sort of building the camaraderie and, and the ability of the team to deal with change. And uh, it, it was doing the hard work over the past, you know, five plus years that when this came, we were ready. And it's, yes. it's really pan off now. Uh, so it's, it's, it's exciting. Uh, I, I think this is uh, our time to shine. It's neat. Yep. It's awesome. So, uh, Driving in chaos, Bill. Thank you guys. Yeah. Has it. Uh, thank you guys, I really appreciate it. Thank you, Bill. All right, thank, thank you. you. Good to talk.